Hi everyone, this is a message for all parents and carers of Ochmuti High School pupils. As we come to the end of our first full week back after the summer break, I wanted to get in touch with you all to thank you for your support of Ochmuti High School. Following the challenges of last session, it's heartening to see our young people and staff return with enthusiasm and a real appetite for new beginnings. All pupils have made a great start to the term and we could not be prouder of them. They are a credit to themselves, their families and to the school. Thank you to all parents and carers for supporting us with our efforts around school dress, behaviour and application. Um, working together with you to promote these high expectations of all young people will better prepare them not only for their learning, but also for life and work during and beyond their time at school. I also thank you for continuing to remind all young people of the importance of following our COVID-19 mitigation measures. They're doing really well with this and we are hopeful that we will see some semblance of normality return towards the end of this term. An extra special well done really must go to our S1 pupils who, despite being new to the school, have turned up every day wearing full school dress and the biggest of smiles. Um, all staff have been very impressed by the way in which they have adapted and given of their personal best at all times. Going around the school, I am delighted with how hard they are working in all of their classes. So well done S1. Some information for you about guidance and support staff. In Okmiti High School, our main priority at all times is that young people are safe, happy and supported to learn to the best of their ability. Every young person has a guidance teacher assigned to them and the guidance teacher is the first point of contact for every young person. Their office is situated on the ground floor of the A-Wing next to my office. Um, can you please check with your child or children that they are aware of who their guidance teacher is? This is particularly vital for our new S1 cohort. If your child isn't sure who their guidance teacher is, can you please encourage them to find this out from a staff member when they are next in school. We will also continue to actively check in with the young people to ensure that they're aware of where to access support within the school. The Breakfast Club. For any young person who arrives at school early, or who has perhaps not had a chance to have breakfast, our breakfast club is open every day from 8am. Cereal, fruit and breakfast bars are available. All young people are welcome to join us for breakfast which is outside the guidance suite. Breaks and lunch times. Our split, split sorry, breaks and lunch times remain in place to support our efforts in reducing the spread of COVID-19. This means that when some young people are on their break, there is still learning and teaching going on across the school for other year groups. To ensure minimal disruption to learning and teaching, we are encouraging all young people to be in the canteen, outside, or in the extended area on the ground floor of the building during unstructured times. And we would appreciate your support in reminding all young people of the importance of this. School dress. The standard of school dress across the school is high and we would appreciate your support in continuing to improve this as we progress through the session. A reminder that all young people who have PE, period one, should arrive at school in full school dress and then change for PE. Similarly, all pupils who have PE last period should change back into full school dress before leaving the school building. Please note that we currently have a shortage of school ties uh, for the senior phase. These have been ordered and we await their imminent arrival. So thank you for your patience with that. Senior Pupil Leadership Team. The application process for the election of pupil leaders for session 21-22 will begin the week beginning the 30th of August. Mr Addison will be providing all S5 and S6 pupils and their parents and carers with the relevant information regarding how and when to apply. Responsible citizenship. Um, we would really appreciate your support in reminding our young people of the importance of appropriate behaviour within the community. As proud members of the Ochmuti High School community, our high expectations of behaviour and responsible citizenry extend beyond the school grounds and young people are reminded of this when visiting local shops or accessing other services in the Glenrothes area. Please remind all young people to be respectful of themselves, of others and of their community when outside the school grounds. 
School buses. Similar to our expectations within the community, we have high expectations of our young people at all times on the school buses. Um, our bus companies are independent of the school, but we do work very closely with them to ensure that pupil behaviours are appropriate. The vast majority of our young people are displaying exemplary behaviour on the buses and we would welcome your support in reminding the young people of these expectations and also in reminding them of the importance of adhering to all COVID mitigation measures. Timetable and course changes. Um, the vast majority of changes to courses and timetables are now complete. Any young person wishing to make any changes from now on should please contact their guidance teacher in the first instance. Senior phase initial tracking. Young people in S4, S5 and S6 have started to have learning conversations with their teachers to determine initial targets across all subject areas. These targets will be based on prior attainment where applicable and should be aspirational but realistic. All initial targets will be shared with parents and carers week beginning the 6th of September. And finally, the flu vaccinations. The flu vaccine is now being offered to all secondary school pupils in Scotland. Um, please read the flu vaccine leaflet and watch the video, um, which have been group called to all parents and carers. These have also been placed on our Twitter and Facebook pages. All pupils will receive a consent form from the school, which should be completed and then returned to us. I, I hope that you found this information useful and if you do have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact us via our school email address. Once again, thank you all for your support so far uh, and thank you in advance for your continued support of Ockmuty High School as we endeavour to deliver the highest standards of learning and teaching and improve outcomes for all of our young people. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Thank you.